Welcome to Vienna View, your monthly hometown video magazine. A brief monthly program about the happenings and people of this extraordinary hometown. This month, we will look back at the exciting April activities and look ahead to what's happening in May. First, let's look back on the Forward Thinking Green Expo, then we'll trot over to Walk on the Hill and sample the delicious taste of Vienna and more. We also whet your appetite and sense of adventure as we preview the amazing month ahead. May holds fun and tasty surprises at the Optimist Club's Farmer's Market, the Conservation and Sustainability Committee's native plant sale, and, of course, the famous View of Vienna celebration hosted by the Rotary Club of Vienna. So sit back and enjoy this glimpse of wonderful upcoming events in Vienna. Vienna is always looking to the future, and April 24th's Green Expo highlighted many of the companies and organizations driven to save our environment. Held for the first time since renovations were completed in the Vienna Community Center on Cherry Street, the place was packed with organizations offering sustainable services and citizens looking to go green. The event featured several civic-minded youth who have encouraged the county to go solar on several schools, Helen Krieger explains. So we're solar on the schools and we're a coalition of STPS students and we've existed since 2016 and we advocate to get solar panels on STPS schools. So this past winter we successfully uh, lobbied the school board to put solar panels on three STPS schools and these schools are Thomas Jefferson High School, Chantilly High School and Mason Crest Elementary School. The educational benefits, the environmental benefits, and most importantly in terms of money and how this can feasibly be done. So this is done through a power purchase agreement which actually makes it more um, feasible for the schools to put solar panels on and cheaper than the utility cost. Organizer Susan Stillman was thrilled with the turnout. I'm chairman of the Conservation and Sustainability Commission for the town of Vienna and we're a group of ten eight adults and two high school students and we um, work to make Vienna a more sustainable community and this is one of our events where we invite various exhibitors to come in and talk about the breadth of sustainability opportunities. We have an architect here that builds net zero homes, we have solar for the Solarize program, we have people talking about native plants, about invasive insects, we have an HVAC contractor who does geothermal, um, there's a whole breadth of uh, folks, Conservation and Sustainability Commission meetings are held on the fourth Thursday of the month at Town Hall at 7.30. They run until 9 o'clock. Our agenda is posted on the town website and people are welcome to come join us. Everyone left a little wiser and a slightly deeper shade of green. The weekend of April 27 and 28 featured a perfectly matched set of events. On Saturday, townspeople got the chance to sample many of the delicious food options Vienna has to offer while listening to local bands. Setup started early with more than 20 of Vienna's best eateries turning out to tempt goers to feast. It seems they had little trouble accomplishing their goal. Reagan Coyne organized the event. Uh, this is my second year running it. I took over from our president, Anthony Stan Campiano, who initiated this idea years ago and has helped it grow to what it is today. Uh, this is one of our largest fundraisers of the year, uh, getting bigger every year, and it's a wonderful outdoor festival where we have lots of local restaurants and now we've added food trucks in the last two years. We've expanded and we have play areas for our kids uh, and families, a nice bounce house. This year we had Domino's do uh, mascot stop by. Uh, basically, we just love it, it's a great chance to come out, remind everybody how small town feel of Vienna is. Like all good events, there was something for everyone, with play areas for the kids and libations for adults. Tom and Stephen Wines came out to sample the smorgasbord. We are here at Taste of Vienna, having a great time. What do you like best about it? I don't know. You had a smoothie? Yeah. Was it tasty? Yeah. Awesome. The food is good, and we're going to go on the moon bounce, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. Great. All right. All right. Musicians provided the day's entertainment with many local favorites taking the stage. The fire department fundraiser was a satisfying success. Mark your calendar so you don't miss next year's great eats. It wasn't coincidence that the next day, Sunday, April 28th, was the day of Vienna's loveliest event, Walk on the Hill. Wendover Heights' historic district neighbors opened their yards and gardens to let everyone experience spring, and it was a great way to walk off the food from the day before. The hill was alive with the sound of music on this partly sunny afternoon. 
Council member Carrie Sinicky, the organizer, tells us more. We're here live at Walk on the Hill. It's a lovely day. Um, we are partnering with the Vienna Art Society, who is having their 50th anniversary, and also the Air Hill Garden Club is having their 90th anniversary. And it's just a lovely day to get out and about and learn a little bit about the historic district. It's 40 years um, old this month and it has some beautiful architecture and gardens that are historic. It was a great day to capture the historic district on canvas and local artists took full advantage of it. Multiple generations came out to enjoy the event. I have a daughter named Elsa and she's been here when she was little. Did you have a favorite today? No? I just liked walking around and seeing everything. She enjoyed being here today too, so keep up the good work since 1971. Let's hope next year is just as lovely. May has just begun and promises to be an exciting month. Let's look ahead at what's coming up. The farmer's market is open for business. Come out and get local produce and other fresh food from the farm. It runs from 8 to 12.30 a Saturday morning in the Vienna Community Center parking lot. May 17 is National Bike to Work Day. Mayor Lori DiRocco is celebrating with a community bike ride. Bring your wheels and helmet and meet at the community center at 9.30 a.m. Native plants will be available for purchase Saturday, May 18th from 8 to 1 at the community center. The sale is rain or shine. Come buy some local flora at great prices. Of course, everyone looks forward to the traditional Viva Vienna celebration Memorial Day weekend. Every year, the Rotary Club ups its game at this weekend of music, rides, food, and fun. Three days of celebrating family, Memorial Day, and the greater Vienna community spirit. It runs from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. Saturday and Sunday until 6 p.m. Monday on the Green, along Church Street, and the surrounding area. There will be entertainment on various stages throughout the weekend. Rock, blues, bluegrass, and more will be performed and a certain group of princesses will keep the kids hopping all day. Expect to be thrilled by dancers, magicians, and clowns, oh my. Speaking of thrills, the rides are back as well. Food from around the world will be available. Thai, Lebanese, and Chilean meals, as well as American favorite summer foods will be plentiful. On top of all that, more than 300 vendors featuring crafts, services, and nonprofit organizations will be present for the expected 50,000 visitors. On Monday, there will be a Memorial Day ceremony on the main stage, a somber moment to reflect on those who gave their all to defend our town and country. There will be a blood drive on Saturday and Sunday. Please do your part and give. The best part of Viva Vienna is that 100% of proceeds go to charitable, community, and humanitarian organizations. The Rotary Club of Vienna has been hosting this event for many years. This year's celebration is set to be the best yet. Make sure it's part of your Memorial Day weekend plans. Thanks for tuning in to Vienna View, your monthly video source for Vienna happenings. Look for previews of the month's events on our Facebook page. We'll see you next month.